I've been flying helicopters for the last 22 years. They keep giving me cool jobs where I wear fire retardant pajamas to work and get to go fly $43 million chariots. I always knew I wanted to fly helicopters. We can hover 10 feet over the water to drop off our rescue swimmers and pick up ejected aviators, something that you just can't do with other airframes. The squadrons are usually based in Norfolk or San Diego, Jacksonville. Those fleet squadrons are all also deployable on surface ships. So normally we fly reconnaissance for the carrier strike group that we're in or in the uh, surface action group that we're in. Basically we'll take off on the ship and uh, we have a surface search radar. We'll fly anywhere from 80 to 150 miles out and we'll go look and see what's out there. Um, and if there's a submarine in the area, and we'll chase that too. Well, the Navy has the MH-60 Romeo and the MH-60 Sierra. Sierra pilots, strong suits are surface search and reconnaissance missions, anti-submarine missions. Romeos have a lot more sensors, radars, sonar buoys. Any type of small ships that are coming towards the aircraft carrier, we're here as the first line of defense. We're currently doing ammo offload, so helicopters will fly from the carrier to the supply ship and they're moving the ammo from one ship to the other. One of the heaviest loads that we lifted yesterday was 4,200 pounds. You wake up, you work out, you go eat, you go fly for six hours, you get back, you go take care of all your paperwork and your collateral duties, you eat dinner, you go to bed, start over, and you do it for six to nine months. A lot of people will try to tell you that you can't do it or put up a wall. Just keep shooting for whatever it is that you want. It's definitely achievable.